pretty simple and insanely rich recipe for bolites, king bolites, and really all kinds of different mushrooms. This is a classic mushroom julienne. I know this is an Eastern European recipe, and also, just a quick note, you gotta forgive me here, I was learning to film at my new house, and the lighting is absolutely atrocious in this video, so just apologies in advance. I'm doing my best here, and things are a lot better. Uh, I got my sea legs relatively quick. First thing you're gonna do is cut the mushrooms into kind of bite-sized pieces. So we're gonna go for about half inch dice here, it doesn't have to be perfect, and then all we're gonna need to do is put the mushrooms into a pan, get the pan hot with a little bit of oil, and add all of the mushrooms. You can see we're just gonna crowd the pan, it's fine, a little bit of brown bits will actually be good here. Typically I wouldn't crowd the pan like that, we can add a big sprig of thyme. If you have some, thyme is kind of the uh, the important herb here. It's not going to take over too much like rosemary or something like that, but it's stronger than basil or something like mint. Now you can see the mushrooms are just cooked, just cooked through. We're going to add some shallot and some garlic to the pan. And we're just going to stir that, maybe add a little bit of oil and cook those until they're translucent and they're no longer raw. And I'm gonna be scraping up those brown bits there. I'll also add a nice little pinch of fresh thyme. But I'm scraping up the brown bits. Man, the lighting is just terrible. <laughs> Scrape up the brown bits. We'll add a little bit of brandy. Deglaze that. You can see that's gonna make the basis of a really nice little sauce. And now we're gonna add the mushrooms back. And we're going to add a little bit of butter and a little bit of flour to make a roux. This is one of the richest things that I have ever eaten, and it's so good. I make it like once a year. Add a little bit of water just to keep the pan nice and juicy. Make sure that the flour can activate and absorb all of the sour cream and cheese that we're going to add. This is basically like a little cheesy mushroom casserole that you eat on toast. Take the pan off the heat. Now we're gonna add the sour cream. The flour makes it so the sour cream is not gonna break when you bake the little casserole. We're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. We're gonna add some Gruyere cheese. You could also add Swiss. And just mix everything together there. Now we're gonna take that and put everything into a casserole dish. You can use kind of any kind of dish that you want, but a Welsh rarebit dish like I'm using here, you want something nice and flat that's going to have a lot of surface area because we're going to put a little more Parmesan and extra Gruyere on top. And then we're going to bake it at a very high heat just to really brown the top nicely, add a couple chives, and then all you do is take that. Oh my lord, look at that. This is a fantastic way to have mushrooms on toast. Like I said, I don't make it very often maybe like once a year, but it is fantastic. And it's very traditional. Full recipe is on my website. Like I said, great for all kinds of different mushrooms, but especially bolites and porcini. You can find that through the link in the top of the video description. Thanks for watching.